down here in the reliquary whatever this is where basically we're gonna be learning the skills to be a hero and at the same time get one of the requirements that the leader of the dweller camp asked so that we can be accepted and uh, so he can, he can uh, help this guy with a rebellion so I huh, guess I can open this one so in these uh, bookshelves Oh, draw a duck training. Well, let me see how you do that, because I can't remember. I guess I'll have to interact with the dog. Come on, glitchy dog. I need to interact. Alright. There we go. Yeah, a little bit of combat. Um, so yeah, you'll find some gold around here. And I'm not sure if you'll find something else, so that's why I'm going to be clicking on all of these. I mean, the gold is really not that much. But, you know, there could be like an item or something, I don't know. That'd be nice. And we can always use more gold. It's going to be a major issue, as I said before. But it will be no problemo. Since I have it all figured out. I mean, I don't know how things would have been if I did this LP blind. I mean, after I did Final Fantasy 13, which you won't find because I deleted it. And that's just something else. Uh, you know, copyright, blah blah blah. But anyway. Uh, I kind of thought that doing blind LPs is kind of bad. At least for me, like... There are some games out there that if you do them blind, you're going to suck so much that it's just going to be almost unwatchable. And it's not that I did terrible with Final Fantasy 13, but, you know, there was so much stuff to do in that game and I didn't do anything. I just got to the end, finished the game, and, you know. And, uh... And it's not like I do 100% runs all the time. The only 100% games that I've done are the Zelda, the Zeldas before. Uh, and that's the only reason is because I knew a lot about those games personally, you know, through the years of playing them. But I haven't had that chance. When you find yourself in a sword fight, just make sure you got the other fellow first. Easy, what? Ha ha ha! Okay. Uh, but I haven't had that chance with modern games, or at least I haven't been that hooked in a game that I just want to get everything. So, uh, I mean, the only game that I can think of right now that I'm really hooked that I just want to get everything is Skyrim. And I'm still playing that game. I'm still uh, figuring out, you know, the stuff that the stuff that I didn't get before and I have started the game like four, like three times but it's because I made some mistakes along the way I spend uh, skill points I mean perks on things that I didn't need and I just started the game all over again and I've done that like three times already at least one of the t those times were uh, that the game glitched after an update and it didn't want to load, so I have to like start it again. And at this point, you know, I'm back at the point where I was the first three times. I already finished the game, but you know, I didn't get everything. And right now, I'm at the process of of trying to get as many things as possible because I don't think it's. Um, I mean, it's not impossible, but it's really hard to get absolutely everything, like a hundred percent, since the game is just so massive. Ah, hello, Jasper here again. I believe that amazing device is what is known as a flit switch. However, on the subject of amazing things, you will not believe what I have just found in the sanctuary. You should come back as soon as you possibly can.
This sanctuary contains an armory, within which there are some truly remarkable weapons, heroic weapons, which your father left for you. This way, please. Now, admittedly, these weapons don't appear particularly impressive yet. However, according to the book, they actually change as you use them, becoming more deadly and developing fantastic properties. They are living weapons, and the way in which you fight with them determines how they evolve. According to the book, the hammer can grow larger and heavier with use. Incredible. Apparently, as you use it, the blade actually becomes longer and sharper. Imagine. According to the book, the hammer can grow larger and heavier with use. Incredible. That hammer should serve you well for as long as you carry it, and depending on whom you kill and how, it will grow ever more powerful. Well, now that you are properly armed, you should be much better prepared for whatever awaits you beneath Brightwall Academy. Ah, yes, the flit switch. Now, the way you activate these is by hitting them. Your new weapon should serve that purpose ably. Alrighty, we hit. <laughs> So, like he explained, these weapons sort of level up and have different attributes. And I'll be, you know, there's, I don't think, um, at least I don't recall a great variety of weapons in this game, with all honesty. I mean, there's just the sword and the hammer, and that's it. So, it's really, really lame. Um, but I usually just use the hammer because it's got more damage. The sword's got better uh, mobility, you got more speed, but it's really not that important since I use magic and later on you'll see the weapon, another weapon. You know, there's no need for the sword, at least I don't think so. back there. Oh, where? Don't get stuck, dog. There we go. <laughs> so there's probably going to be a noise in the background. I think they're cutting the grass next door. Or something, I don't know. <laughs> good at ahead with the money issue at the beginning of this game. This is for later, this area here. Uh, yeah, because, you know, the first time I didn't know, so it was really, really stupid. Okay. Here's, uh... This one's for magic. The guy's not even giving me instructions, that's weird. I usually believe that he gives you instructions for absolutely everything. So this thing gives you like two choices, I think, sometimes. And, but you can still get everything, I believe. I hope so. Where these sparkles are, is where these hollow men will be spawning. Uh, like here, it tells you you can go that way, but the problem is if you push it once, then it's over. So I'd rather get this one, because I'll still be able to get that way anyway. I think it's just the paths that you choose. Like this one has the enemies there, and you could have avoided it if you'd taken the other way, but I think you have to sacrifice the chest. But it's not really that bad to fight them, I mean, so you can see they just pretty much disappear really quickly. Let's 
So, we got this one. And like I said before, I'll be selling every, every single summoning or slow time potions. I have no need of them, absolutely. Not that they're useless, like, don't get me wrong. I mean, if you drink a potion in the middle of battle and you go for slow motion, you're going to have some advantage, I guess. But I just much rather sell everything that I can, everything that I'm not going to be using. Because I'm really going to need the money. <laughs> Sparkly lights? Alright. So, these go down. We don't have to push these anymore. wonder what's back here. Nothing! Ah. So here we're gonna be dropping. Yeah, man, that would have totally broke his legs in real life. Unless he rolls around like Link. <laughs> okay, we go. Wee. Man, I would so not do that. Sure. So what do you do here? Charge a spell and uh, L. Oh, that's the left trigger. Oh, to shoot the. Okay. No biggie. <clears throat> already there is no health bar but that doesn't mean that you're mortal <laughs> um, thing is that when you're getting hit at one point <coughs> camera starts to uh, turn black and white so when you see that it's kind of blurry and it's black and white it basically means that your health is really low and you're like dying you're about to die so they give you the potion option if you have one on the d-pad and you just use it and that's pretty much it because you know they took away the pause button or the menu button and they turn the menu button into a whole room which pretty much sucks with all honesty I really miss the having my own inventory uh, oh there's something here let me check it so, this is how it ends. I steal the blueprints for the dungeon from the architect who built it. Find the secret entrance on the other side of Miss Peak. Almost get killed by several hollow men. Stub my toe against a rock so that it really hurts when I walk. And now this. I know there's a great treasure in here somewhere. And I know it has something to do with these braziers. I just don't know what. But I'm not leaving until I solve this riddle. So, um... Yeah. Yeah, this game's uh, text is not like on the last two that uh, you pretty much read them. This time they read it for you. So there's really not much to read in this game anymore. Especially since you can't read it, you have to hear it. <laughs> so yeah, there are some changes that I just didn't like very much. I'll be getting to that as we go. And another thing is that giving a voice to the character gives the, the character a personality, a set personality. So even if you're a bad guy, he still talks like a good guy. So it doesn't make much sense, really. I mean, you know they give you choices to be bad and whatever, but it's not like when your, your character is silent, when your character doesn't say anything. You can pretty much speculate that he's, like, 
either a good person or a bad person, and you really can't tell. But this guy, he, he has already a voice. He's already a character, so... I don't know. That's why I don't like being the bad guy in this game, because it doesn't feel like you're a bad guy. It feels like more you're just some ass. <laughs> yeah. I don't know, I just... I, I really hope that for the next Fable, uh, not counting the one that's coming out for Kinect, because I really think that sucks. Um, <laughs> yeah, I don't... I, I, I wish... I, I, I'm just gonna pretend that that game doesn't exist for the sake of argument. Um, I want the next Fable game to be a lot better, not just from this one, but from the second one. And the first one, I hope there's a Fable game that surpasses it. Because at this point in time, I don't think there's any better Fable game than the first one. Because the first one had everything. The first one had music, it got it had an epic story. Uh, you know, it was a really, really great game, and, and I haven't had that ev ever since the first one. The second one wasn't too bad, but I don't know. It wasn't, like, better than the first one, and I was always hoping for a better Fable game. And I'm not complaining much about the dog, but, yeah, like, let's stop it with the dog thing. Let's... The character doesn't need a dog. Uh, I don't see the need for it. And I know people like dogs. I like dogs, but no. <laughs> ah, hello. Yes, you'll recall that I mentioned that flit switches require a knock from a melee weapon. Well, it seems that was only partially correct. According to the book, only blue switches require melee weapons. The red variety requires magic, and to activate yellow switches, you must shoot them with a firearm. Fortunately, that section of the book also indicated where some firearms were located, and these weapons, well, they must be seen to be believed. Please return to the sanctuary as soon as you can. Ah, so the weapons in question were also left for you by your father. They are in the armory. Any other business to attend to? Like the sword and hammer, these astonishing weapons evolve over time as you use them, becoming ever more fearsome. They can cause more damage and achieve other incredible effects. The pistol is best suited to short ranges and packs a surprising punch. The rifle is the perfect instrument for engaging enemies at long range. The pistol is best suited to short range. The pistol! Excellent choice. You are in an enclosed space at the moment, after all. I'll keep the rifle here in case you change your mind. In the meantime, experiment and see what incredible properties are waiting to be unlocked. Alrighty. Shoot at this. So now we have the gun. I like to use the pistol even though the rifle hits a little harder and has better range. I just like rapid fire. And the later pistols that we'll be getting are Welcome a lot better. Welcome to the sanctuary. So what do we got here? This is uh, something that I unlocked or whatever I, I think. I don't know. Um, the time's not good. I'm already at I'm almost at 20 minutes. And how does this place know that I'm coming? <laughs> ah! Yeah, so now that we have the main weapon the ranged weapon and magic were pretty much unbeatable. Well, not too much, but, you know. <laughs> I mean, not completely unbeatable, but let me just tell you, I've never been killed in this game. 
I've never had a game over, so I don't even know how it looks like. Don't even know how it looks like. Great. We got a party of people coming. Uh, leave me alone. I didn't do you wrong. <laughs> Alright, so I'm gonna be stopping here and I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye.